Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you like this video, come back tomorrow. You're happy to say it is finally Friday, but we're also starting our vlog during our work day. Wow. How do you feel today? Good. Good, good, good. Your laptop's about to die. We gotta plug this thing in. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, today is a big day because it's not only Friday, it is, I think, the 57th anniversary of the March on Washington. Um, so today will be a little bit, today's vlog will be a little bit more focused towards the civil unrest going on and the, the issues our country and the world are facing. Um, I know it's been a while, but we are still actively doing things at home in our personal lives that you don't always see in the vlog, but today I will be going out to City Hall. There is a solidarity march going on along with the one that is going on right now at uh, the Lincoln Memorial in DC. So I kind of have that on the news today while we're working away and I think at 5 it starts, 5 p.m. March, yeah. 6 p.m. vigil downtown in City Hall. Mm -hmm. So big important day. Also real quick, we do a little bit more posting on social media more regularly. Um, about topics such as these and share different resources and all that stuff so if you are new to our channel I will put like our tags to like Instagram our Facebook group and whatnot in the description but also here on the screen um, just in case if you're interested in that sort of thing many hours later this girl has been fundraising for American Cancer Society emailing people and companies bucket list family just three six eight started but i made like templates to reach out to different types of people and all that and so i sent like probably just under 10 emails today oh yeah all you need is one yeah send 100 emails look at our our fall decorations oh yeah it's 3 30 i think we're gonna get cooking soon i'm signing off at 4 30 today because i'm gonna go over to that uh march and vigil um we should ask the Earhearts if we can share this Spotify playlist. They, they created a Disney Calm playlist. Yeah, it's so it's nice. It's really nice. Like, this is the Navi music, right? Yeah, I'm having a Braxton Hicks. We call them Brackies. <laughs> we were complaining that that's too long to say. Yeah. And also sounds intimidating, so we call them Brackies. Yeah, and like so a contraction sounds, it's like, it's not a contraction. It sounds more intense than, you know, if we got out of the hospital, it's going, no, it's just a Braxy. <laughs> Another little bit of our decorations i'll show you real quick before i start making dinner this is like my favorite halloween decoration of ours it's just a little what is this called i mean it's a spider web doily yeah, spider web doily show them my favorite halloween it's really just a fall decoration i don't know she is in the oh okay i'll go show them soon that'll be filled with candy corn soon this will feel be filled with candles potentially new glass because we had a I broke it. I broke it. <laughs> and then this little sign, which is another one of my favorites. Here's Peter's favorite little Rupert we got going on up here. I showed this the other night, but our little candle wax melter. Another candy dish, a plant. I added a scarecrow too. And this cute little framed witchy witch. We got a pumpkin up there, some candle holders. I changed out our springy wreath to have that little floral arrangement pumpkin guy we got a little pumpkin on our washer and dryer door and then our towel game is pretty pretty strong oh. and that is pretty much it we really haven't bought new halloween decorations in a while i'm hoping that this year we can get a couple of new things i kind of want some garland to go under the tv um but yeah a few things we weren't able to put out because we don't have as many services um, our haunted mansion plates, we used to have these like specific things that held them up and some of them got lost. I don't know where they are. I don't know if it was with our downsizing or what. Um, yeah, that's our decorations. Hopefully we'll get some candy soon. Um, I feel like Halloween's all about the candles burning, so we'll get some candles too. I am going to make dinner before Peter heads out. Somebody pointed out that we barely make curries which is so true and I think it's because neither of us really grew up eating that and so it's not really like in our wheelhouse of recipes that we go through to be like oh yeah I'm gonna make that and so it's it's not something that 
we eat at home often but we do love so tonight i am going to try to make one i don't have all the ingredients as usual um but i'm gonna try my best i'm using veggies and lentils and it'll probably be spicy so i'm going to make rice to put over the veggie concoction i always add a little bit of oil um to the pot just that that helps it not stick so much um, but I'm gonna make it was two cups of dry rice so we'll have leftovers for the rest of the week so I'll link the recipe that I'm following below but um, these are the spices that I used to start I didn't have everything that they suggest but I let them cook in olive oil also with some minced garlic for a while and then I just added in half a cup of finely chopped onion gonna let that cook for a little and then the veggies i did a half a head of cauliflower a whole green pepper a whole zucchini and about four ounces of white mushrooms All right for the whole second half i kind of went rogue i had oat milk instead of coconut milk lemons instead of limes um i just spunked it up more i would just follow the recipe and not what i did to be honest um but hopefully it <laughs> gave you inspiration to make something like this um or maybe just the veggies it's a good combination i'm bringing the actual camera to the vigil protest march good thinking i'm gonna swap it off for this lens though Alrighty, here's the final plating not the most beautiful but i added some chives on top as well as some lemon juice and it tastes pretty darn yummy all right i'm on the little lens this camera is so much more light when I have the stock lens on it. Um, it's been a while. I'm just three blocks away from City Hall. The festivities begin, I think, in five minutes. So I'll get there right around the time it starts. I think I saw a tent when I turned off of Orange, but we'll see in a, in a moment here. All right, I just got to City Hall. I switched over to this lens because rather than just using my cell phone because um, it's just good to be cautious and not show people's faces who should come to protests just because they might not want it. Um, and it was kind of difficult with the cell phone to grab some shots where I could have zoomed with this lens. But it looks like a well more like set up, like there's a backdrop up on the city hall steps, speakers. There's at least four camp, five camera crews, like local news agencies here. Um, but it's really hot. And for the first time, I'm seeing a sole Trump supporter across the street. Um, so that's interesting. I haven't, didn't see that in all of March or April's gatherings here. The leader here today, he was like a random person at when the marches first started back in March and he has since started his own like advocacy group in Orlando, which is cool to see him like rise as a leader and get organized in a more professional, like legislative, policy changing local way. So I think he's about to talk. When I say black lives, you say matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Racism does not exist because we talk about it. We talk about it because it exists. And it will not go anywhere until we address it. Injustice for some is injustice for all. Amen, brother. Amen. Because I have a dream. He said, we demand our freedom, not gradually, we demand it now. Today I want to talk to the young people in the audience. You are a rainbow tribe of bold activists who realize, like John Lewis, that power concedes nothing without demand. I want to talk to the young people because although I'm a civil rights lawyer, and I've seen and been in and out of cases, I'm 51 years old and I've seen enough of the ugliness of systemic racism, not only in the justice system, but in the fabric of America. And I'm ashamed to tell you, I lost hope in the, pros in the prospect of America. I'm telling you this because you all are the reason that I'm here. You have renewed my faith with your righteous indignation and your communal love for one another as you continue to take to the streets armed with nothing but your deep abiding love for yourself while demanding Black Lives Matter. Welcome, please, Andrew Darling, everybody. Andrew Darling. We have to be in the voting booth 
You control who is in charge of you, who represents you. You control that. We have to take it seriously. We have to take it seriously for our young people. We have to take it seriously for our seniors. We must lead by example. I would like, in our lifetimes, to say that our movement got to a place where we were actually successful. And we actually changed, not just hearts and minds, not just pain on the streets, we changed policy. We changed a system. So when you guys go home tonight, and you think about what you got out of this, think about the growth that we've had, maybe prior to 2016, the growth that we've had as a nation since the 50s and 60s. Think about the regression that we've had over the last few years. And think about what you can do from your position to impact this movement. Because I promise you, this movement is not over. This movement is not slowing down. This movement will continue. And I promise you all that I am gonna give everything I can to this movement. So this is for Salatha. Say his name. Salatha Elvis. Say his name. Salatha This didn't happen a year ago. This didn't happen months ago. This happened just a few weeks ago. Say his name. Salatha Elvis. We're here today to cash the check that Martin Luther King talked about. To cash the check of freedom that we were promised. In 1776, when they said there is life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness for everyone, they didn't include us, but they damn well don't include us now. It was only a couple hours, it's already over with the storm coming in. Um, so I don't think we talked recently, but there was a young man shot in the back by cops at Florida Mall. And obviously there's a pending investigation, but it doesn't, I mean, all the, what's come out so far is it's another example of police brutality. And now I can say for the second time, unfortunately, I've been now to these protests where family members of the people we are protesting at injustice for was there. I was next to Salasis Melvin's family member for almost the entire first hour we were there and I didn't even know who she was until we started marching and they said Mr. Melvis's family's coming up to lead the march and then I was with her after we finished the march. Just very, it's all very terribly awful and sad but when you realize how close home it is and that's what they kind of were trying to educate today is all the names they said for those roses were names in 2019 and 2020 so it's still very real right now and then the last six names were people in orlando in 2019 and 2020. so and they they said um i'll try to find them but they mentioned there's some resources online to look up like say their names.com i think where it's literally you can see who has been killed by cops um in your neighborhoods to see that it's not just what you see on the news when it comes to killings it's not just riots or protests it's across the country and that's why we need to keep talking about it keep voting keep voting for the people who are going to work against it and not ignore it or pretend like it's not there for local state federal look at who you're voting in the sheriff look at who you're voting to represent every piece of the puzzle in our country and i'm gonna go Gotta go to run some errands and go home and hang out with my girls and my little boy. Just lots of Walgreens. Um, got some stuff for Eve. Got a photo Sarah wanted me to pick up and some candy, Halloween candy. Um, I think only one of them's vegan, but I guess actually it's gonna help me not eat them all in one night because that's typically what would happen to Peter Brookhart. 
Um, but I'm going to head to get some McDonald's french fries for Sarah because that's what she's vibing on. And then I'm going to head home. And then we'll be hanging out and it'll be good. Have you guys ever seen Return to Oz? Because apparently Peter hasn't. He thought he thought it was starring Judy Garland. Judy Garland. I've never uh. seen a minute of it, and I don't plan on seeing too many minutes of it tonight. What the heck is that supposed to mean? It's bedtime soon. Not sure if Peter showed it or not, but here's our picture we had printed. I don't know if this has ever happened in our entire life, but we're going to bed. We got like halfway through uh, maybe like a third through Return to Oz. Peter is running 13.1 miles tomorrow morning and I have to get the vlog done before our little adventure begins. I don't even think we've mentioned it. Um, and so we're gonna go to bed early. August 28th, weak people revenge, strong people forgive, intelligent people ignore, anonymous. I'm checking. I never checked us in online. We never even talked about it. That's all you're hearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> you'll know. I mean, the vlog will go up and we'll probably post something on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Gotta go to bed. Gotta run a long, long time. Gotta fight. Gotta crow. Hook up. Uh, mm, yeah. Hook? Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.